I want to touch base on um what the brother asked earlier about the the Paris thing or stated rather about the Paris thing because from what I'm gathering he's saying that he met a young lady and she was like yeah you know any man that I get with he got to take me to Paris and if he don't then he ain't no real man and I don't want him and you know because I I deserve the best I deserve to be flewed out period and he's saying that yeah and that type and that female is still single and, and you know what a lot of females unfortunately are operating with these ridiculous standards as far as what they think a man should give to them and what they deserve and what they qualify for and what they need and what the deal breakers are like a lot of our deal breakers are just superficial surface level nonsense that in the grand scheme of things don't mean anything at all you know and it's unfortunate because we could very well be missing out on very quality men that could give us that stability and security that we need as women but because we're like oh no nah, if you can't flew me out to paris then you know you trash you ain't shit and whole time it's like because you don't even deserve to be taken to walmart you know it, it's just it really messes us up it really does you know you talking about getting flown to paris bitch you you lucky if motherfucker take you to the Dollar Tree. You know, and, and that's just being unfortunately real. A lot of females up today, not trying to pour into a man. They don't even feel like they should have to um, cater to their man. Like, for goodness sakes, they're, they, they were trying to boycott and, and get them to ban the Cater to You Destiny Child song. You know, y'all laughing. I'm serious. They these females were so triggered. They were trying to get them to ban the damn Destiny Child cater to you song. Yet they want a man to fly them out to Paris, bitch. You lucky if I take you to White Castles. And you better not ask for cheese on the motherfucking burgers. We got crafts at home. But this is the audacity. You know, it's the audacity. My, I need to be, yeah, Paris. Yeah, you know, it needs to be taking me to Paris. And if you not, then I don't know what the fuck you you talking about it. You see, you can't be with me. It's a matter of when you're gonna take me, not if. And, and like he said, that's why she's still single. You know, you know, it was it was a lot of typos going on, but I think I get the gist of what my brother was trying to articulate. Okay. Let me just go to the bottom and then I'm gonna go to the top, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> I'm serious. The fuck? Yeah, Popeyes, bitch. Yeah, no cheese. Hold the cheese, please. The bitch on the side of the cheese, you know, and a cup of water, small. Yeah, small cup of water. Don't. Yeah, the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, you know, Family Dollar. Small. She's going to Paris, bitch. And, and again, did Smokey take you out? Hold on, Miss. Did Smokey take you to Paris? No, you know what I'm saying? I ain't take her to Paris, but I took her to Paris Avenue. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I took her to, to the city on Paris Avenue where my granny stay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I took that bitch there. You know what I'm saying? You know, but, you know, one day, someday, I'm going to take my bitch to Paris. You know what I'm saying? But she just got to she gotta believe in a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? She got to hold a real nigga down. You know, but I, I did take her to Paris Avenue. The fuck? Did, did Smokey take you to Paris? I'm so serious, y'all here laughing. Thank you, Zwift, for the White Castle shout out. I used to work at White Castle, y'all. <laughs> I was in there whipping it, whipping it real hard. Yeah, I sure was. I worked at White Castle from when I, what was, how old was I? 17 until I was 20. I sure did. No, ain't no extra cheese. Yeah, that extra cheese cost, bitch. No, and a small cup of water. The fuck? Hold on. Thank you, Theo. It says Paris. She doesn't qualify for French fries. Oh, bars. Bitch, you getting tater tots. 
Ain't no French, ain't no French on that fried bitch. You getting tater? No, waffle, waffle fries, and and that's and that's too fancy for you, to be honest. Thank you, Michael, and, and that's too fancy for you, to be honest. You no, know, you ain't no French on that fry. You get a waffle fry, at best. Yeah, the bend zone. Welcome to the bend zone. Now let's get into it, Frederick. Let's get into it, Frederick. I, I do want to go there, you know, because that is one of our uh, original crown head terms that we, you know, coined on our channel. I want to get into the bend zone. Thank you, sportsman. So you're on point, Anika. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Now, let, let, let me get into this. And thank you, uh, how she, okay. And shout out to uh, Sportsman being a channel member. It says, if you're a square or a lame, never change yourself for a woman. Give her a chance and be respectful. But as soon as she does something dumb, keep your cool, but also keep it moving. She ain't special until she earns it. Bars. Hold on now. And that's also very important to highlight. You know, um, I... I Okay, you have some guys out there to where, um, unfortunately, maybe they, maybe they're they're just really hung up on having a woman, you know, and so they can start trying to morph into Smokey or Ray Ray, you know what I mean, in order to get the attention or approval or validation from women. Females, right? Because women, we don't even, mm -mm, we want grown ass men, you know, that's on their, their job. But, you know, a lot of guys, well, I, I, I don't say a lot, but it's, it's, some, it's some guys out there that will try to in, start to pick up on certain traits or characteristics, personalities that of a smoking and attempt to fit in or get women to, you know, take them seriously or think that they're hood or think that they're masculine or think that they're something that they're, that they're not. And so what how she is saying is very true as far as, you know, making sure that you are sticking true to who you are and never trying to change for anybody. If this woman, this female does not appreciate you for who you are, if you are a respectable guy, a respectful man or gentleman, whatever the case is, fuck her. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now. All of those females eventually come crawling back. And it's important also not to let them come back. Because that type of female will use you up, chew you up, and spit you out. And then she's back on to the Smokies that she's used to. And we don't have time for that shit. But always remain true to yourself. Always stay true to yourself. Do not try to um, change to something that you're not in an attempt to get somebody that pretty much doesn't even deserve you to begin with. You know, be true to who you are and who is for you will find you, period. Okay. Um, 